Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As promised in my previous video, I told you that I'm going to teach you how to solve like a pro in the next video and this is that video you are in the right video. Now this is all about converting a writing standard notation to scientific notation. But what's so special about this video, I will teach you how to make it easy and solve like a pro in 5 to 10 seconds. If you finish watching the full video, I have three promises for you. First, you will solve like a pro. Second, you will amaze your teachers. And third, you will make your parents proud. So keep watching and I will help you do the trick. In converting standard notation to scientific notation, you have points to remember. First is you ask yourself, is the number greater than 1 or less than 1? The number that I'm talking about is the standard notation. If it is greater than 1, then the exponent is positive. If it is less than 1, the exponent is negative. If it is equal to 1, the exponent is 0. Remember that any number or any base raised to 0 is equal to 1. And any number or any base raised to 1 is equal to the base or the number itself. Second, Find the coefficient c by putting another decimal point or the destination on the right of the non-zero digit that appears first from left to right leaving one non-zero digit on the left side of the decimal point or the destination. Third, you count the digits in between the two decimal points and write as the exponent. Fourth, Drop all zeros except those that appear in between the non-zero digits and the remaining non-zero number or numbers will be the coefficient. So let's have an example that is 60,700. You are just going to drop the last two zeros but you are not going to drop the zero that appears in between 6 and 7. Note that the coefficient should not be more than 10 since we are using base 10. Now let's apply our steps. Let's have our first example. 20,000 is equal to C or the numerical coefficient multiplied to base 10 raised to the exponent n. Our first thing to remember is, ask yourself, 20,000, is it greater than 1 or less than 1? 20,000 is definitely greater than 1. Now we know that our exponent is positive. Next, we locate the original decimal point, and the original decimal point of all whole numbers is located at the end of the number. Next, we find the first non-zero digit that appears from left to right, so the answer is only 2. Then we affix the second decimal point or the destination to the right of the number 2. Next is we count the numbers in between the two decimal points. 1, 2, 3, 4. That will be our exponent. Positive 4. We move the decimal point to the left and the number is greater than 1. Now our exponent is positive 4. Next, we drop all the zeros and then retain the non-zero numbers that will be our coefficient. In this example, it's only one number and it is 2. Our final answer, 2 times 10 raised to 4. Let's have another example. 2,900 in scientific notation is what? Now, first thing, 2,900 is greater than 1. Now, our exponent is always positive. Next, we find the original location of the decimal point that is at the end of the number. And then, find the first non-zero digit that appears in the number. The first non-zero digit is 2. The second non-zero digit is 9. So since 2 is the first, we write the second decimal point or the destination to the right of 2. Next, we count the number of decimal places or the numbers in between the two decimal points. 1, 2, 3. Our exponent is positive 3. Finally, we drop all the zeros and we retain the non-zero digits that is 2.9 and that will be our numerical coefficient. Our final answer 
2.9 multiplied by 10 raised to 3. Please click the subscribe button and bell button for notifications. Thank you. Let's have another example. This is six thousandths in scientific notation. The first question, is it less than or greater than one? It is less than one. Now our exponent will be negative. Next, since we know the location of the original decimal point or the original location of the decimal point, we now will skip this part. We will find its destination. Now the first non-zero digit that appears is 6 and it is the only non-zero digit. Now we can write the destination or the second decimal point to the right of 6. Then we count the numbers in between the two decimal points. 1, 2, 3. Since we move the decimal point to the right, our exponent is negative and 3 digits is equal to negative 3. Next, we drop all the zeros and retain the non-zero number that is 6 that will be our coefficient and our final answer is 6 multiplied by 10 raised to 3. Let's have another example. 0 0.00078 in scientific notation. Now, it's obvious this number is less than 1, so our exponent is negative. Then, since we know the original decimal point, we now have to find the destination. Find the first non-zero digit that appears, that is 7. Put the decimal point or the second decimal point to the right of 7, and then count the numbers or the digits in between. We have 4 digits, so our exponent is negative 4. Then we drop all the zeros and retain the non-zero digits, 7.8. That is our coefficient. Our final answer, 7.8 multiplied to 10 raised to the negative 4. Now what if our example is like this? It's in words, 100,000. Now we write it into standard notation, that is 100,000. To find its scientific notation, if you have remembered in my previous video, for positive exponents, since the given standard notation is greater than 1, we just count the number of zeros and that will be our exponent. Let's just skip this step. It's not necessary. We have 5 zeros. Then the number is 1. That is the only non-zero digit here. Our final answer, 1 times 10 raised to 5. Our next example. 100,000. Again, this is in words. We have to convert it into standard notation. We write it as 100,000 in standard notation. That is why it is very important that you know how to write numbers and decimal numbers in words for you to convert it or easily convert it into standard notation. If you can remember in my previous video, I talked about this. If there is only one digit appearing or one non-zero digit appearing and the number is less than one, now our exponent is definitely negative. We just count the number of decimal places or the number of digits to the right of the decimal point. We have five digits. We can skip the entire step just like that. And then five digits at the right of the decimal point, our exponent is negative five and then the numerical coefficient is 1. We have our final answer, 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the negative 5. Let's have our final example. That is 6,607,900. Now this is one of the example that I have mentioned in the rules earlier. What if the 0 appears in between the non-zero digits? This is what we will do. Since this number is greater than 1, the exponent is certainly a positive exponent. Now, the original location of the decimal point, and then we put the destination or the second decimal point to the right of the first non-zero digit, and that is between the two six. Now, let's count the numbers or the digits in between the two decimal points. We have six digits, so our exponent is six. 
Finally, we drop all the zeros, but excluding the zero that appears in between of the non-zero digits to find the numerical coefficient, and our numerical coefficient is 6.6079, and that is our final answer. Now, I want to congratulate you for watching the entire video. I hope with more practice, you can be able to solve it faster like in 5 to 10 seconds or more of like 3 seconds. You can do this with constant practice and training. Stay tuned for my next video because I am going to talk about converting scientific notation to standard notation, solve like a pro. Thank you for watching.